All right, this is 5.1. This was actual the quiz that we had. And we're given this information in a table that gives us time in minutes and then speed in miles per hour. So we have all these different data points. In other words, at a particular time, we got the speed, a particular time, we got the speed, and so on. Well, anytime you want to do calculations um, with different units, you need to get them as the same units. So the first thing I need to do is find the change in time, but I need it to be in hours because my speed's an hour. So I know that 15 minutes I can change to hours because there's one hour is 60 minutes and the minutes cancel and I divide that and I get a quarter of an hour. So 0 0.25 of an hour. So that gives me my change in my time. And so now what I want to do is I want to plot each one of these points. So you could think of this as your x, this your y. So we have points here. We have the point 0, 15, 15, 14, and so on. So I draw my graph. And at 0, the first one, I'm up here at 15. For the next one, as I go over, and remember this change is this distance here is the 0 0.25. And so I'm going to go ahead and change each of these values. So instead of 15 minutes for the first one, that's going to be... 0.25 and that would be my dog and then so at the 15 minutes I'm at 14 let me put my point there I'm at 14 seems like he's quite upset for some reason so let's close the door All right, and so then at the next one, at 30 minutes, that would be at 0 0.5 of an hour. So that's this one, which would be at 13, so still going lower. And then, oh, I don't know why I wrote, no, that's fine, okay. I was thinking 30 minutes, why did I write 0.5? Because I'm doing it in hours. And then the next, if I add 0.25 again, I get 0 0.75, which is at my 45, and that's also at 13. And then next, I add 0.25, and I'm at my first hour, or 60 minutes, and that's at 11, so that's a little bit lower. And then next, I add one point, I add 0.25 again, so I get 1.25, which is at the 75 minutes, and that's at 10, so that's at a little less. And then finally, I get my, and that would be Raphael texting me, <laughs> and so then finally, I get my last value, which is at 90 minutes or an hour and a half, and that's at a value of zero. So the first thing you do is when you're given a table is you plot each one of these points. All right, so I have my points all plotted out here. Next thing I want to do is, and let's go ahead and connect these so you can see the function. So this is what the function, uh oh, this is what the function looks like. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find this area under here. Well, let's try to find it with a lower estimate. So in this case, a lower estimate is I'm going to start here and go up to the point and then draw a rectangle. Go to the next one and draw a rectangle. And I'm going to first just look at the first half hour. So what I'm finding then is the area of these two rectangles, which is the height times the width. And so it probably would have been helpful to label these points. I'm going to just write these numbers so I don't have to write the entire point. So 14, 13, 13. In other words, that's the heights there. 11, 10, and then, of course, 0. 
And so how I find the area of a rectangle is I take the height times the width. So a lower estimate then would be the height of 14 times the width, 0 0.25. That's this first rectangle. And then to find the area of the second rectangle, so I'm going to add that, my height would be 13 and then times 0 0.25. So in other words, all I've done, all I've done is find the area of this rectangle and the area of this rectangle, and I'm going to add them together, and I get 6.75 miles. So that is my lower estimate. We can see it's a lower because it's below the function. So now if I want to do an upper estimate, well then I'm going to start on this side and go up for my rectangle and then go over to where the next point is and draw it straight down and then go to the next one and then draw straight down so as you can see certainly this is an overestimate because I have some stuff above the graph so this is what we call can't get my stylus to write an upper estimate and in this case so my height is 15 times my width, which is still 0 0.25, plus the height of the next one, which is 14, times 0 0.25, and you should get 7.25 miles. And now I can continue to do this if I don't want just the first half hour, if I want it for the entire hour. Well, if I go back to my lower estimate, then all I have to do is just simply start connecting all these and I see I have I have all of these um, rectangles okay now of course this one the problem with the the zero one is I'm having a little bit of extra stuff here but that's okay because actually when you see the zero one this is going to be flat because my speed at that time is just zero I'm saying the zero one, I mean the 90 minute ones, is, I guess is what I should really say. So you're not going up here. This is just a flat line, which the area of a flat rectangle is just going to be zero. So to get your lower estimate, you would find the area of this one, the area of this one, which we already did, then the area of this one, the area of this one, and the area of this one, or writing that out the lower then, and all of these widths are 0 0.25, so I can just write that once. I look and see the first lower height is 14, plus the next lower height is 13, plus the next lower height is 13, plus the next lower height is 11, plus the next lower height is 10, plus the next lower height is actually 0, and I get 15.25. Doing the same thing with the upper, so the upper is going to be 0 0.25 times the upper rectangle, so now I'm looking at these, and again I'm above the function, and so as you can see, this last one actually was above the function. And so if I look at each one of these points, there's 15 plus there's 14. In other words, I'm getting the height. Plus 13, plus 13, plus 11, and then this one we're actually taking plus the 10 and you should get 19 for the upper. So it's important when you're doing these that you're not just looking at the table and saying do I choose this one, these, or do I choose these. You want to graph this because that will show you, you know, even if you didn't know which is the upper or the lower, well you can do both of them, right? And whatever the lower value is, the smaller value is going to be an underestimate or a lower estimate and then the larger value would be an upper estimate.